Hibs are the only team part out with the top tier of Scottish football to win the Scottish Cup uh, <laughs> since East Fife in 1930. It's just a, it's just a stat. But the stats just, are getting a wee a, bit better It's now. just a stat I carry about with me, that one. That one. But the stats are, the, the stat that we've all heard for such a long time, and that, now you can actually look at some interest, interesting ones from a Hibs point of view. But they're, they're kind of, I know, yes, they are in the lower league, but it doesn't feel like a lower league team. It doesn't look like a lower league team. The way they play doesn't look that way. You, you know, officially they are, yes, absolutely accepted. So, in a way, you would look back to that East Fife team of time going by, and that was maybe a were bigger they, thing. Were they a good team in 38, oh, that East Fife oh, team? Great. You know, i just seen the kind of tail end of them, you know. <laughs> uh, history being rewritten, and this was the moment that settled it in stoppage time. It looked like we were bound for extra time. David Gray thought otherwise. Great header. He just wanted that, Ronald, so badly. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they they had uh, guys who who can uh, yeah can ha have a proper header, but they, what you say they were eager to uh, to finish it up before uh, going in extra time, and you you felt it a little bit. Of course, it, it still has to happen, but you know uh, one thing, Rangers never gonna have that uh, third goal. That uh, you had that feeling, and they were all up for it. It's amazing sometimes that, that happens in football. You, you have it yourself when you're on the park sometimes. Yeah. You think to yourself, like, it's going to happen, we're going to do it. But you're right, you have to go and actually put in, uh, into action. And, you know, very much like Kenny Miller's goal in the first half, the, the header, yeah. wanting it. David Gray there, it was, you know, you heard him there as well saying as soon as the ball came in, he thought, I'm getting it. And, it, you know, that it looked like that in the pictures that we saw. Mm. Well, we've all, we've all actually been in pictures like that, haven't we? Where you come to the end of the game and you just look at the opponents and you think, they've gone. Yeah. We've got them here. You've not even scored the goal yet, but you think we've kind of got them here. And there was a wee feeling of that when the equaliser went in. It may have taken two extra time, but Hibs were getting stronger. Michael mentioned Kenny Miller a moment ago. He was somebody who probably didn't deserve to be on the losing side today because for a 36 year old, uh, that was an was, exhilarating performance for him. He was everywhere. And maybe sometimes I would think, oh, Kenny, uh, take it easy because uh, in the last part of the game, you want to also be still uh, involved to keep the ball. But he was like chasing people back, uh, taking a slide and uh, so it was incredible what he did so for him it was uh, quite harsh not uh, to lift the trophy but uh, still if I see the, all the chances that uh, Hibs had today I think they were des uh, deserve uh, winners so the moment is almost there with us uh, Hibs gathering again in the tunnel and about to re-emerge into the Hamden sunshine not one Hibs fan has left they all want to be here and uh, to cherish the moment that their team finally wins the Scottish Cup for the first time since 1902. 3-2 it was with uh, David Gray getting that stoppage time winner. I'm just looking at the, uh, the referees will even get a round of applause. The police got one five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that would change the your habits of a lifetime if the referee and the assistants got an applause as well. Oh, we won for the refs though. I mean, Hardly any bookings. No, I, thought, I, thought they, I thought they managed the game well. They, uh, they gave, I think, two, two bookings? Yeah, yes. there was yeah. very yeah. few. Simple terms, we never spoke about them. Exactly. That's what we want to hear. Yeah. Well done, lads. OK, for the presentation ceremony then, as referee Stephen McLean gets his award for the afternoon, it's back to Craig and back to Liam. Cheers, Rob. Yeah, Stephen McLean had a good afternoon today, you have to say. Him and his officials who are all there. Stephen McLean, David McGeehee, Andrew McWilliam, the two assistant referees. Bobby Madden, the fourth official, John Beaton and Andrew Dallas, who were the extra officials behind the line. But shortly, the stage will be free for Alan Stubbs and his Hibs players, who will now be immortalised. Last time they won it, 1902 under Irishman Dan McMichael. Harry Rennie was the goalkeeper. Archie Gray, Robert Glenn, Bernard Breslin, Jimmy Harrower, Alex Robertson, Johnny McCall, Andy McGeehan who got the goal, John Divers, Paddy Callaghan, Welshman Bobby Atherton. one nothing victory over Celtic. For those, you can now read Conrad Logan, David Gray, Paul Hanlon, Liam Fontaine, Fraser Fivey, Dylan McGeeach, Lewis Stevenson, John McGinn, Darren McGregor, Anthony Stokes, Jason Cummings. The substitutes who came on today, Liam Henderson, James Keatings and Nicholas Gunnarsson. Hibernian's 14th Scottish Cup final. 
they've featured in three of the last five. The last two, well, they can forget about them now. 5-1 to Hearts and 3-0 to Celtic. They don't matter anymore. Not for Hibs. This is them now onto a third triumph in this tournament. It puts them alongside Kilmarnock, Vela Leithen, Clyde and St Mirren. They just had to wait a fair bit of time between Scottish Cup win number two and number three, Craig Patterson. Yeah, well, I can I can name the famous five team one to eleven. I could give you Turnbull's tornadoes. We're gonna have to work on this team because they are officially now Easter Road legends yep. on the back of today's result. Incredible. Well, he's the captain. He's the hero. And his picture and the rest of the team that he's guiding up the steps here at Hamden will now be immortalised in photographs, paintings that will adorn the Easter Road walls. There's a big banner over on the far side that says time for heroes. Well, these men in green and white are heroes. Because the hoodoo to end all hoodoos is over. Hibernian have won the Scottish Cup. It is not a dream, it is reality. They lost it in 1914 to Celtic. They lost it in 23 to Celtic. To Airdrie in 24, to Aberdeen in 47, Clyde in 58, Celtic in 72, Rangers in 79, Celtic in 01, Hearts and Celtic in 12 and 13. But in 2016, the sunshine shines down on these Hibernian players as they hold aloft the oldest of national trophies. Craig, let's be honest. You, from a big high B background, what does this mean to anyone connected with the club, from supporters to boardroom? Uh, the, the jokes are over for a start. The what happened since Hibs won the cup jokes, they're all put to the back of everybody's mind. It's been a long, long run. It's been a long, long wait, but on days like this, all of a sudden it's worth waiting for. And now Hibs have to build on this. They've got to get out of the championship. They've got European football to look forward to next season as well. Great sight there, Darren McGregor, who is a big hippie as well, holding the trophy aloft. He's had two particularly gruesome injuries to contend with in his career. John McGinn and Liam Henderson, who both had fine seasons. Liam Henderson on loan from Celtic. A wonderful day for Hibernian Football Club. From Duke Street to Ocean Terminal, Leith Walk to Leith Links, Constitution Street to Easter Road. What a party it's going to be tonight. Oh, I've <laughs> That end of Edinburgh will be absolutely jumping. It has been a long, long wait, and they deserve to celebrate. They've come to Hamden time after time after time and had to trudge back along the Amy after yet another defeat. Today is a day that every Hibs fan is going to remember. Special cheer for Alan Stubbs, who was on the big screens here as well, the SFA president, Alan McRae, congratulating Alan Stubbs, who has guided Hibernian to the Scottish Cup. Yeah, should be some party tonight when you've waited 114 years for it. Hibs have won the Scottish Cup. Thanks a lot to Michael and Pat and Ronald de Boer as well. In the studio, a momentous day for Hibs at Hampden from all of us involved in this Scottish Cup final. Bye for now.